some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in uh, Colorado with Denver Metro Audits, Sweet Tea Audits, and uh, J-Town Press as they are pulled over for speeding. And, uh, well, J-Town Press decides to do something really stupid and get out of the vehicle and it winds up getting a firearm pulled on her because of that issue. J-Town, if you want to act that damn stupid, that's on you, not the police officers. At any rate, I'm going to keep this uh, particular video short and to the point, because you know what? That's all there really is to this video. Just a person acting stupid because they uh, think that one case study, one case law, is all the sufficient... Uh, Motivation they need to act stupid when there are so many layers to this onion. It is ridiculous. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> hey, guys. Please go live. I'm live. Okay. Let me just, uh, it takes a while to kick in. All right, guys, so we went live. Uh, this officer just had it, uh, J-Town uh, at gunpoint. I got pulled over for, first he said I was going 90. I shut him down with that. Then he said I crossed a double white line. Uh, and so I gave him my information. He's back there writing a ticket. Uh, J-Town and Sweet Tea were about to get out of the truck. Uh, and then uh, J-Town did get out and he pulled his weapon out, had her at gunpoint, uh, saying to get back in the vehicle. We quoted uh, case law, uh, Pennsylvania v. Mims, that he does not have any uh, any control over the passengers, only the driver. I got a question for you, Chrissy boy. At any time, at any point, did you not think to look up any case law that might be related to Pennsylvania versus MIMS to see if there were any uh, issues about the passengers that might take precedent i mean there are thousands of cases out there that the supreme court have done and yet you did not think to even look at it of course i have come to expect that out of frauditors who uh, will quote one case law out of thousands just to try to prove a prove a point when they have none no standing whatsoever in a lot of these situations and some of your viewers seem to agree with me on that, considering some of them were quoting Maryland versus Wilson, which is something you probably didn't even know about. That particular case law does give the authority to the police officers to control the passengers. And with good reason, too, dude. I mean, let's think about this logically, but you guys don't even have the slightest concept of logic considering what you've been doing for the past few months. Uh, so let's put it to you this way, you dumb shits. Uh, the, uh, police officers are not one of these tyrannical, mindless buffoons that you, uh, show them to be all the time. These guys have families to go home to. They have their hopes, their dreams, and everything like that. The officer must be able to control the traffic stop without interference from anybody in the area. Because you know what? If that passenger gets out of the vehicle and is unable to be controlled by the officer and they have a firearm or any other kind of dangerous weapon that put the police officer in danger, uh, you know what? That officer may not be going home to their family that night. And that's one thing that these officers have on their minds. They want to go home to see their family. And if it's uh, the choice between putting J-Town down because she might have a weapon in this scenario or going home and seeing their family, I'm sure they'll want to put their uh, family first. Because you know what? I don't think the world would very miss J-Town too much if this had gone that way. So, J-Town Press, uh, I do believe that you were in the wrong in this scenario you acted like a complete moron, and you were lucky to get off with anything other than a uh, lead surprise. 
So you idiots can whine, cry, and complain all you want. You can file your complaints. You can act like big, bad MFers. But at the end of the day, you guys are still definitely in the wrong in this scenario. J-Town Press, you are an idiot. Denver Metro Audits, you are an idiot for uh, supporting her. And Sweet Tea Audits, you are most certainly an idiot among idiots as well. But if that's the game you want to play, then you will play that little game until it leads to its inevitable tragic conclusion. At any rate, those are my thoughts on this video, because you know what? They have they went way beyond their usual MO in this case and uh treaded a very dangerous line.